Chronic homelessness in the country and in California has been a problem for years, but with the recent economic downturn, homelessness has become an even more urgent issue. No one is exempt from becoming homeless, and that is something that we all need to understand. California State Assembly member uh, Norma Torres understands that foreclosures and unemployment are forcing more and more people into homelessness. California ranks number one in the nation for the number of homeless families that are sleeping in our streets. To develop a plan to address chronic homelessness. Torres, chair of the Assembly Committee on Housing and Community Development Oversight, held a hearing to explore how California can work together with the federal government, local communities, and nonprofit agencies to combat this growing problem. The committee that heard from many experts about the shocking statistics. Most of the homelessness occurs for children who are under the age of five. Professor Dennis Culhane testified about the disturbing facts that we simply can't ignore. The highest risk group is actually infants, people who are zero years of age, because it just so happens that uh, about one out of every three homeless women is pregnant or parenting a newborn. So uh, homelessness among families is predominantly among very young mothers with very young children. Assemblymember Torres finds these facts unacceptable and is determined to find solutions. The opportunities to build and, and provide affordable housing in every community across the state has to be our number one goal. Torres had hoped to work with the governor's office to find solutions at the hearing, but they declined to participate. The governor's office did, however, recently submit a 10-year action plan on chronic homelessness. Unfortunately, that plan had been sitting in draft form for the last three and a half years. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.